Good evening, guys. Just want to give a heads up what's coming up next range day. We got 544 mags here, 544 mags here. Trimmed to the same length, seated to the same depth. Same powder charge, same primer, same bullet. The only difference this is Winchester 296 and this is H110. Uh, on paper, looks like that. Everything identical. Now, I went ahead and converted the uh, H110 to PSI. So, I've always been curious about this. The lobe manuals have always been a little... Well, I just didn't know. So, H110 and 296 run hand in hand. Both beginning charge. Both velocity. Max charge is the same. Velocity is the same. Here's the only difference. PSI and CUP. So, the formula for converting CUP to PSI is just that. CUP times 1.516 minus 17,902 equals PSI. So, 29.9 times 1.516 equals 45,328.4 minus 17,902. 27,426 PSI for the H110. 26,910 for the Winchester 296. Now, both of these will be shot out of the same gun through a chronograph. Uh, we'll be looking at standard deviation, velocities, stuff like that. Um, I don't think there'll be any problems with pressure. Once again, this is max load, and I'm right in the middle. I'm 30.5. It's kind of my pet load for 180 grain XTPs. That is what my revolver likes. Uh, so, we'll head to the range and have some decent data for you, hopefully. See you then. All right, we'll start with the H110s. See if we can get them to read through the crony. Sixteen forty two, sixteen seventy seven, sixteen ninety eight. All right, now we'll move to the exact same load of Winchester two ninety six. Okay, so let's move to a, uh, let's follow up with that. Low of 1642, high of 1698, average of 1672, 56.2, standard deviation, 28 feet per second. Not bad at all. I've got a 454 console with a two inch barrel. Mm. That's just, that's uncalled for. All right, let's change all that. Clear that string. All right, here comes the Winchester 296. 1586, 1651, 1648. Hmm. All right. 1586, 1651, average 1628. Little higher standard deviation. I uh, still will stick to my H110. That's what I conclude. I don't know. I keep seeing uh, all the same load data for the same two powders. And I wanted to check it myself. Now we know. <laughs> 